This is an initial power up on a TRX or FTVN using the new user interface. Once we apply power to the boiler, the screen will light up and go through an initialization sequence. The noise you hear in the background is the boiler going through a startup sequence, operating the internal diverting valve and circulator and doing some discovery checks. Now the boiler is initializing, the display and the controller are talking back and forth, and the display is loading up the data from the controller. Okay, so our boiler has turned on fully now. It is important when you do an initial startup that you leave the gas turned off. The boiler may attempt to fire, and if you have not fully bled the air out of the system, this can cause damage to the unit. You'll also notice this little warning down the bottom here, power limited mode. This is a normal startup sequence that every boiler will do once when you first install it. During this period of time, the burner will operate at a 50% power and it needs to run at 50% power for five minutes before the power limiting mode will go away and clear. Uh, that is done to prevent issues with the condensate drain and to allow the pre-charging of the condensate trap. That's a normal startup for a TRX FTVN boiler. At this point, you could proceed into programming or leave the boiler to operate normally if you've already set it up.